Oh, look, the, the Sonic trailer came out. I, I wonder what it looks like. Oh my god, what the fuck? I was going to Toshi, Toshi Station. It's just a fair. Toshi, Toshi Station. I'm never gonna get out of here. I was going to Toshi, Toshi Station. On the line. Toshi, Toshi Station. I pick up some power converters. Nope. Nuh uh. Nope, I, I refuse to believe this. I, I do. It, it, it didn't happen. No, it, this is not real. I'm living a dream world. Sonic the Hedgehog the movie. This never had the potential of greatness. I can assure you that. This movie never had the possibility of some deep thematic elements with fantastic, uh, you know, lifelong cinematic universe. No, no, no. This movie, the greatest potential it had was a fun, entertaining movie out of pure stupidity or silliness. I like Venom. Now, it's just garbage. The lowest, the lowest form of garbage, let's be honest. And you might be asking me why, if you like the Sonic trailer, which, I mean, anyone with two eyes and a brain could be able to tell you it's not good. And you might ask me why. Well, it's it's Sonic. It's Sonic's design. What I don't understand is the people who produce this film is Sega. Sonic is their mascot for their company. Sonic has been a part of their company for decades. Sonic was created by them. They have worked with the character of Sonic for decades. And this is what they make. Are you fucking kidding me? People on the internet can figure this stuff out in a second from realizing it. They're putting the details into the fibers of his hair. And they can't even see the glaring biggest problem. Hello, wake up and smell the daffodils. Wake up. Anyway. Anyways, let me start out with some of the first uh, few problems that I have with the trailer. The first thing is the music, the theme. Uh, Gangster's Paradise, seriously, in a Sonic trailer, that's just totally out of place. On top of that, some of the sound design choices was completely weird. Um, for instance, probably the most annoying was at the very beginning of the, uh, commercial, of the um, trailer. These rings pop up instead of the stars for the Paramount logo, and, you know, that's a really cool design, and I really like that choice. It's really interesting, but the sound of the rings comes in, like, halfway through, and it just sounds really cut and paced, and, and it sounds really weird. Now, if they were, like, coming in, like, fluent, fluidly, um, almost like a river, and it came in, like, really, like, you know, like, flowing, then it sounded really good, but it just, like... They were, like, going, and then there was no sound, and then all of a sudden, bring! And it's like, okay, you, you should have started, you know, as soon as they started coming onto the screen. But, you know, that's just, you know, a nitpick, I guess. The next thing is probably the most obvious thing as to what is lacking in the trailer, and that is the fact that Sonic the Hedgehog does not look like Sonic the Hedgehog. Do you see the picture below, the one from the trailer? That's Sonic the Hedgehog. Do you see the one above it? That is its ugly furry cousin, or brother-in-law, or escaped convict, Sonic. This thing looks nothing like Sonic. This photo of him in the trailer that I have on the screen is probably the closest thing to Sonic in the trailer. Like, this thing, this one, this version actually looks a lot more like Sonic. The rest of the trailer looks like a pale imitation. I mean, it's pretty bad. I mean, you want to know how bad it is. From Newsweek, Detective Pikachu cinematographer explains why his movie looks better than Sonic the Hedgehog. Literally. The guy from Pikachu is taking a, de a, a, a stab at Sonic the Hedgehog. It's that bad. It's that bad that people are actually like, hey, my uh, comic book fr uh, or uh, nerdy franchise, Pikachu, looks better than your nerdy franchise, Sonic. That's pretty funny. You got You got to admit, that's pretty hilarious. Now... What exactly did he say? He stated, 
If all we're talking about is how these two films look, our film is better than Sonic the Hedgehog, and I'm sorry. But I don't care who I upset by saying that. But I think it looks better, Mathiasen said. There's no reason why you can't shoot a film like Detective Pikachu or Sonic the Hedgehog on film. If you had, Sonic the Hedgehog would look more realistic. I look at Sonic the Hedgehog and just go, yeah, whatever. Which I'm pretty sure most of us would have to agree with. Actually, no, when I first saw Sonic the Hedgehog, I legit was like, oh, oh, violated. And I'm sorry for all of you who had to see the trailer and also were violated. On top of that, I'm really sorry for the furry community. Uh, finally, you have a film for yourself where you have a furry in it and they just completely F it up. Completely. Now, an interesting phenomenon has happened that people on the internet have actually gone out and changed... Uh, some of the stuff in regards to the trailer in order for him to become more like his typical video game self, and I really like these photos. This one here has him with bigger eyes and sharply pointed teeth. Uh, pretty generic, uh, but you know, already you can tell the eyes look a lot more Sonic-like than the last ones. The other ones look more like a rodent. Look how awesome the picture on the left is from the picture on the right. Sadly, the film that we're going to be getting is not the film on the left, but rather the film on the right. This is absolutely pathetic. It's so sad. This movie's going to lose money. There isn't going to be a sequel. Whoever's making this film, they should already know that. Don't try setting it up for a sequel. It's not going to get one. It just looks bad overall. This is honestly the best part of the trailer. Dr. Eggman, Mr. Robotnik, Mad Max Fury Road style. This is seriously, honestly, the only part of the film. Or the trailer that looks good. By the way, why doesn't have why doesn't Sonic have his iconic shoes and gloves? I don't know. It's weird. I just saw it and I was like, this looks too human in my opinion. Looks a little weird. So you might be asking, Oscar nominated a hole. Are you gonna go see this film when it comes out in November? Hell to the no. If I'm going to spend $20 on this film, I might as well wait till it hits Blu-ray so I can buy it and watch it on repeated viewings, studying every little bit of terrible awfulness that it is. That or just save my 20 bucks and go buy a delicious meal. Or condoms. I don't know what. You know, you do you. Or I do me. Or something like that. Anyways. Yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog. It, it's a thing. It's a movie now. I don't see how any SJW would want to be a part of this film. It looks like it's not going to rake together two dollars. So they're just like the, the the proverbial whores that they are, are like, oh, we can't use it to benefit ourselves. Oh well, I guess we'll close up shop because we're not about equality. We don't want to spread our identity politics to all equal playing fields, just the ones that really give us the most impact. Okay, little freaking whores. Anyways, everyone, tell me what you guys think about this whole situation. And as always, SJWs are the Hollywood hookers and the Hollywood whores of the universe. Well, I was going into our sheet station to pick up some power converters. You can waste time with your friends when your chores are done. Come on. Well, I was going into our sheet station to pick up some power converters. Look!